Happening now, a Coast Guard cutter on the Connecticut River trying to break up two ice jams on the water. News 8's Amy Hudak joins us live from on board that cutter to tell us what kind of progress is being made. Amy. Keith, we are with the crew from Boston. They came down from the Boston Harbor to help break up some ice here along the Connecticut River. And as you can see, it's working. They're doing a great job. You can see some water now flowing freely down the Connecticut River. The pendant is working in tandem with two ice cutters, one from Connecticut and one from New Jersey. And the purpose is to have all three of them working to break up this thick ice together. Now the ice is so thick and so tough to get through that it actually broke the steering of the U.S. Baller, that is the Coast Guard cutter stationed out of New Haven. That boat is now docked and out of commission for the rest of the day, but we are still working in tandem with one other boat and we're doing great getting through this thick ice, ensuring that flooding is not an issue for homes and businesses along. Uh, the Connecticut River. The folks in Boston say they're just happy to help their neighbors. Now after lunch around one o'clock, Senator Richard Blumenthal will be getting on one of these cutters to tour the Connecticut River. We will be with him for that tour and we will bring you the latest developments and his reaction to what he's seeing in terms of the flooding here along the river on News 8 at 5 and 6. For now, we're live along the Connecticut River. Amy Hudak, News 8.